It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Wednesday, the 10th of August. I'm James Spann. Weather stays rather unsettled and showery for the rest of the week, but conditions will be trending a little drier at some point this weekend and next week. Let's check things out. Water vapor satellite view as this day begins. The primary band of westerly winds aloft, well to the north, we know to trough over the northwestern states. And down here, yeah, you see that swirl. There's an upper low drifting into Mississippi from South Alabama. And a big mass of storms in the coastal waters of the Gulf of Mexico as the day begins. And man, is it muggy. Boy, an ocean of humidity. Birmingham 77, pretty much the same for the rest of north central Alabama. We'll expect a high in the 80s today. Below average because of the clouds and showers. West of the state, heat advisories for parts of Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and points north. And notice those uh, flood watches for the Gulf Coast. Just a closer look at those flash flood watches for Mobile and Baldwin counties, Alabama, Escambia, Okaloosa, uh, Okaloosa counties in Florida. Aerial flood watches for the rest of the Florida panhandle where the heaviest rain will likely fall. Organized severe weather stays way up north, as you expect in August. Standard risk for Minnesota, parts of the Dakotas today. There's tomorrow and on day three, which is Friday, a marginal risk for parts of New England. Rain for the next five days. And you can see uh, some pretty big numbers on the Gulf Coast region, the axis of the heavier rain a little south and west of here. Uh, the bullseye, New Orleans and Baton Rouge with seven inches, and this is five-day rain, valid through Monday. In Alabama, the amounts taper off from five inches at uh, Mobile and Gulf Shores to about one to two inches for northeast Alabama. But again, everybody should, is going to have a good chance of seeing showers through Friday. And we'll take all the rain we can get in summertime. Uh, that upper feature has a little minor surface reflection, but we don't expect any tropical storm formation uh, anytime soon, uh, at least for the next five days across the Atlantic Basin. Eerily quiet for mid-August. It ought to be rocking and rolling out there, but a large amount of dry air continues to cover the uh, Atlantic Basin. So here we go, model fans. Here's the GFS. This is the 06E run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. Kind of hard to pick out that upper feature, but it's there. Now at the surface, there's a low that's a little west of Mobile at uh, midday today. Here's the high-res her at 6 o'clock, suggesting uh, not much at all for the Tennessee Valley with the better coverage as you go down to the south. Often, uh, you look at this graphic. This is the precipitable water, and this uh, often identifies the better placement of the more numerous showers and storms. And boy, the number is just overwhelming down in South Alabama. Uh, you, you can wear this air uh, from about uh, Demopolis down to Dothan. Those precipitable water values are approaching three inches, which is, again, remarkably high. But it's certainly high elsewhere, so we'll expect to see a number of passing tropical showers around today, but it's certainly not going to rain all day. Uh, same thing tomorrow, and the same thing Friday. Conditions not changing much. Scattered to numerous showers and storms. Highs mid to upper 80s. A lot of clouds around. A limited amount of sun. Now, for the weekend, the upper feature begins to uh, fizzle, and you can see that uh, we might be trending drier by Saturday. The high may be around 90 Showers becoming fewer in number, and, and Sunday, same thing. Showers are certainly possible, but they'll be a little more scattered in nature. In the high Sunday, probably low 90s as it will, you know, cre temperatures are creeping up. And next week looks very typical for August. Uh, low 90s, scattered mostly afternoon and evening showers and storms. That's Monday, this is Tuesday. And a week from today, Wednesday the 17th, Flat Ridge. Should be a classic summer look there. Partly sunny, a few spots getting a storm in the afternoon. This is the end of the forecast period, Friday of next week, the 19th. Upper high a little to the west, troughing a little northeast of here, and again, pretty standard summertime weather. Numbers, we stay in the 80s through Saturday if this verifies. And again, we can be just broiling here in mid-August with triple-digit heat. Next week, low 90s come back, but again, that's uh, not too bad for this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.